Hello and welcome to Mathematics with Simon. I'm Simon. Today we're going to look at the compound angle formulae in A-level mathematics for sine, cos and tan. So let's just look at the formulae to begin with. So sine A plus B equals sine A cos B plus sine B cos A. Sine A minus B equals sine A cos B minus sine B cos A. Cos A plus B equals cos A cos B minus sine A sine B. Cos A minus B equals cos A cos B plus sine A sine B. Then we've got some for tan as well. Tan A plus B equals tan A plus tan B divided by 1 minus tan A tan B. And then you've got the one for tan A minus B below that. So what does this allow us to do? Well, let's just remind ourselves firstly... Let's remind ourselves sine x, cos x, and tan x for some well-known angles. So for in degrees, 0, 30, 45, 60, 90, and in radians, 0, pi over 6, pi over 4, pi over 3, pi over 2. Then what you've got is um, sine 0 is 0, sine 30 degrees is a half, sine 45 degrees is 1 over root 2, sine 60 degrees is root 3 over 2, and sine 90 is 1. You've got the numbers for cos and tan as well. So the point is, I mean, for example, we can work out sine 75. So we know sine 45, 30, and 60. We can work out sine 75 because it's just sine, sine 45 cos 30 plus sine 30 cos 45 by the formula above. And then sine 45 is 1 over root 2. I mean, they're all up here. But um, sine 45 is 1 over root 2, cos 30 is root 3 over 2, sine 30 is a half, cos 45 is 1 over root 2. So we've got 2 root 2 as a common denominator, and then you've got root 3 plus 1 on the top. You can also look at sine 15. So sine 15 is uh, sine 45 cos 30 minus sine 30 cos 45, which... Uh, when we calculate it through is root 3 minus 1 over 2 root 2. Cos 120, we can do cos 120 as, as cos 90 cos 30 minus sine 90 sine 30. Cos 90 is 0, so that's really easy, that just drops out. Sine 90 is 1 um, and sine 30 is a half, so cos 120 is 0 minus a half, which is just minus a half. Let's look at uh, tan. So tan 15, we can write as tan 45 minus tan 30 over 1 plus tan 45 times tan 30. Tan 45 is 1. Tan 30 is 1 over root 3. So there's a bit of algebra here. And then um, tan 45 times tan 30 is... 1 over root 3 again, because tan 45 is just 1, so it's 1 plus 1 over root 3. What we do here is multiply top and bottom by 1 minus 1 over root 3. So the top is 1 minus 1 over root 3 squared. The bottom is 1 plus 1 over root 3 times 1 minus 1 over root 3. So this is kind of a difference of two squares thing. So what it gives us on the bottom is uh, 2 over 3, because it's 1 minus 1 over root 3 squared, which is 1 minus a third, which is 2 thirds. Um, and then on the top, we're going to square 1 minus 1 over root 3, which comes out as 4 over 3 minus 2 over root 3. Um, yeah, it's basically 1 plus a third, which gives us 4 over root 3. And then you just got two lots of minus 1 over root 3. you still got 2 thirds on the bottom. Then what we're going to do is we're going to multiply top and bottom by 3, which is going to get rid of uh, all the over 3s here. And then we'll get a 3 on this side, um, which we divide by root 3 to give us root 3. And then what we're going to do is divide top and bottom by 2. So here you get a 2 at the front. This 2 disappears. This 2 disappears. So you end up with 2 minus root 3. So tan 15 is 2 minus root 3. Isn't that neat? I hope you like this. I like making it. Please hit uh, subscribe and notification bell. I'd love to hear your ideas. And most of all, I hope you enjoy your mathematics. See you soon.